What is up you guys? It's your boy Andy Arts and today we are going to learn how to paint hair and I'm using one of my uh, one of my pieces far here. All right, it's a fan art from one of my favorite video games Final Fantasy 16, the character Tifa, one of the most popular characters in in the actual game. So, uh, so how to paint hair, right? How do you paint hair? Right, so today I'm gonna give you uh, like a basic, um, a basic understanding of how to paint hair, and uh, how to make that look. You know, so I guess this is more on the 2D side of things, and then later on I'm gonna do like a more realistic type of video, maybe uh, after the holidays, because right now it's December and it's Christmas. So um, yeah, so let's go. Let's go ahead and get started. And like always, you want to start out with a basic color. So what you're seeing here, I'm actually enter, you know, coloring in the shadows. So the basic color, right? On the first layer, we have, um, you know, assuming that you're using like Photoshop or Clip Studios, right? On the first layer, you're gonna have your basic color, right? So here is more like a dark brown. Well, I guess like yeah, more like a dark dark brown hair color. And um, and as you can see, on the second layer, I have. The second second clip layer, I have like a, a slightly darker brown color to you know give it that you know that dimension, that shadowy dimension, right? So you want to start out with your basic color, shadow color, and start um, and start color, start shadowing in the hair, depending on where your your light source is. So um, you know, understanding lighting is very important to make your drawings look uh, more realistic, more. Um, more accurate, uh, so to speak, because you don't know where the shadows are going to be casted unless you know uh, in, in which direction the light is going. So, in for this for this drawing, the light is coming from the top right. No, no, excuse me, from the top left corner, which is her right, our left. So basically, the character's right and our left side. <laughs> if that makes sense, All right? So from the top left corner. And so as you can see, the uh, the shadows are more towards towards the right of the hair strands. And uh, yes, I'm just coloring it in, and I'm coloring it in with the the hair growth, right? So she's got long hair, so you're gonna color it in with the the like the direction of the hair growth. So, and then later on, we're gonna talk about how to make it look like more realistic. But first, you want to put in those shadows, right? Put in those shadows. Um, Kind of like measure in where the, you know, where the light is less likely to reach. And that's basically, you know, that's basically how shadowing works. You're supposed to shadow the areas where the light is less likely to reach um, in the, the body parts or, or the objects or the objects that you're coloring. Right. And so you want to measure that. Of course, it, right now, if you're. If you're, if you're looking where, where I'm coloring, I'm coloring like the back of her hair. So down in, in the back, in the back area of the hair, like behind the neck, there's gonna be there's gonna be like almost no light reaching there. Almost no light reaching that side, right? And um, I'm gonna fast forward over here. Okay, so another good example for this is basically where I'm coloring uh, this area where I'm, when I start to color in the the back of her hair, right? So you see there's like different strands kind of, you know, to kind of give it that, you know, there's different tones, those different hair tones of like the, uh, the, the lighter browns, the darker browns, right? So uh, it's a way of like, you know, Give it, giving the uh, giving the hair more more volume, more dimension, uh, so to, so to speak. So right here, I'm drawing. So this part of the hair is kind of like going behind her and around her back. And so this obviously this area is going to be a more darker. So as you can see, the uh, the the top of the hair is more uh, has a lighter lighter brown color. The inner side of the of the hair, as it goes around the uh, as it goes around her back, is more is has darker tones of brown. Right. So you want to keep that in mind. When you are, when you're coloring, right? 
Um, another thing you want to keep in mind is, like I said, using different using different tones. So we have a basic br basic brown, and then we have like um, you know a, a slightly darker brown for the you know for the shadows. And then you want another much more darker brown color. So you want so you want three colors really. So one is basic, one is a shadow, and then one is a darker a color darker than the shadow. <coughs> Right, so now you have like basically these three colors, and uh, so that that's gonna give like the hair more volume, more dimension, make it look more realistic. Um, because in the reality, that's how hair is. Like, you know, the, especially the longer the hair, whether well, it's brown hair or like blonde hair or even brunettes, there's there's different shades of that one color, right? So even even uh, people that have like you know long hair, long black hair. Uh, you will see that they have, um, you see, they have different shades of that black. So they will have like a more like a grayish tone when they're when they're in a lighter area. Some people's hair are a little more shinier. You see different tones, and the tones uh, are in the direction of the hair. And you will see it. Uh, now, hopefully, that makes sense. I'm trying to explain this to the best of my ability here. So just remember, uh, you want to color in the direction of the hair. And, uh, and along with that direction is the different uh, tones of color. Now, um, adding texture. Adding texture to the hair, um, you know, it gives it that more realistic tone because uh, the hair, you know, if you just use the bucket tool and just dump the brown, the brown colors and, you know, just the, the, the shadow colors, um, you, it doesn't really give it that realistic uh, look. What you want to do is create that illusion of the, the, the strands of hair. So what I'm doing right now, and I'm going to try to zoom in here. What I'm doing right now is I'm drawing these lines, these lines on the, on the, the area of the hair with like a darker tone to show, to show that, you know, the, the, like, like the strands of hair in the way that the hair is, is going, right? All right, so I'm actually going to zoom in and show you guys how, you know, uh, how it's done. Like, so what you see here, you see the basic color, like the, like the, the more, the lighter brown color, the basic brown. And then you see over the basic brown, there are these strands, right? These strokes of, um, of a, of a, of a darker shadow, of the darker brown color that creates the shadows. So what it does is it gives the illusion of this texture, right? The, the texture of the hair, like these strands. Um, it, it, it gives the illusion of these strands of hair going. So that's what you want to do. You wanna you wanna use you wanna use different you know all, all the colors that you have in and cre create that texture. So with hair, you wanna create those strokes in, in the direction of the hair. So the hair is kind of like circling, creating like this S shape around her body, around the back of her body. So you wanna color in that direction, you know, with a you know with a darker tone. And uh, create create these strokes to give it that nice um, that illusion of hair strands, that texture of the hair. So I'm gonna keep painting here. Let me show you. Just follow along. Okay, so what I'm doing here, I'm coloring this area where the sun, where the sun is not like reaching very much. So this this area, this part of the hair is gonna be darker, and I'm creating these strokes, right? I'm creating these strokes, and what these strokes are doing is giving it the illusion of of the hair strands, right? The strands of hair in, in these these groups of strands going here. So see, I'm gonna create these strokes like this, like this. Right, and that gives it like that nice illusion of uh, of hair, and it, and it looks great because it's different tones, right? A lighter lighter brown, shadow a, a slightly darker shadow brown, and then a much a much darker brown. And you want to use you want to do this in different areas of the hair. So uh, if it's like on where the light is reaching more, you're gonna want to use the shadow the shadow uh, brown. And then in the in the darker areas. Uh, you want to paint over the 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 shadow brown color with a darker brown. I hope I'm not like losing you guys here uh, explaining this, but 
uh, you want to use a much darker brown over the shadow color, you know, to create that texture, those strokes, right? So again, you want to create these, uh, you know, this illusion, uh, continue with the strokes following the growth of the hair uh, on the shadows, right, on the shadow tones and then the darker tones, right? So you're going to use the darker tones to color over the, the shadow color, as you can see what I'm, what I'm doing right here, right? I'm coloring over the shadow to, to give it that, uh, you know, those, those strands of hair, give it that illusion. right where the sun is where the sun uh, is not reaching <clears throat> gives it a more realistic look okay and finally uh, last but definitely not least is the hair highlights we're gonna start working on the hair highlights and uh, I don't know why but I always like to uh, to draw the hair highlights it's like this really cool part of like coloring and, and drawing it's just uh, you know, it's, it's, I don't know. I don't know why I find it so much fun, <laughs> but yeah, the hair highlights, uh, you want to take like a much brighter, uh, color of the same color. So you want to take a much, uh, uh, in this case, she has brown hair. We're going to use a more, uh, lighter brown hair. Uh, just imagine how basically how it would look, you know, if, if more sunlight was touching that hair. So and basically the way that the, the, the highlights work is uh, because the hair, especially long hair on girls, it curves around around the head. So uh, on the curve, the light that the highlights will usually show at like the, the peak of the curve on that, that, that curve right on that uh, on the top, like the highest point of that curve. That's what that's where you would see the, the hair highlights. So in this case, our girl Tifa here, uh, her hair. Um, you know that peak of that curve is right in this area where you see me where you see me painting these um uh, these highlights here right and what i'm doing here i'm just kind of like trying to like sharpen them up a little bit to make it look more more realistic i don't know this brush is not it doesn't create such a point or maybe it's just my my uh, s pen i do like the s pen but sometimes it doesn't create that you know that sharpness when you draw a line you know that point so i have to create it by making my brush smaller so it is, it is looking pretty darn nice. I'm liking how this is coming out. I am loving her hair. Girl, man, you look so good, Tifa. Uh, yeah, so the hair highlights. And uh, I'm zooming in to take care of this other side. All right, guys, so that's going to be pretty much it for this video. I hope that I have helped you, uh, you know, uh, paint hair a little better. Uh, this is how I learned how to paint hair. Uh, it took me quite a while, but I got it done. So if I miss anything, if there's any other suggestions, maybe something else that you wanted to that, that I missed in the video, uh, please comment below and let me know. Uh, it, aside from that, if you like this video, if you found it helpful, make sure to give it a like. Make sure to comment below. It helps with the algorithm. Share the video. Make sure to share the video around. Make sure people will like it on social media. And uh, yeah, make sure to subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be making more, you know, more uh, videos like this. Drawing, coloring. And it's, all, it's mostly digital. Uh, most of my coloring is digital. I don't use Copic markers or paint, nothing like that yet because I just, you know, digital painting is just so convenient. But yeah, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell for future notifications. It's your boy, Andy Arts. Guys, I will see you in the next drawing and coloring video. Peace out.